Last but not the least, when you go home today, you should tell some of the things to your parents also. Because few of them are now using online debit cards, online credit cards, Google Pay, Phone Pay, they are using it. They may be using more than you, you may also may be using it. But at this, we have to tell them that if at any given time they get a call from any unknown person saying that I am calling from the bank where your credit card or your debit card is registered with us and your credit card or your debit card account shall be blocked if you don't provide the details to us about your debit card or credit card. There are many people who lost their money thinking that if this call is coming from the bank and these particular people that ask questions related to the cards. Tell me your debit card number. Tell me on whose name it is registered. Tell me the CVV number. Tell me the validity of that card. And they will also say that after all these details you share, there will be an OTP which will be sent to you. That OTP also should be given to us so that we know that this is the authentic person and on this authentic person's name, this card is registered. People give this because otherwise many of them think that if they don't provide these details then they will be, the card will be blocked and they will not be able to do online transactions. Today itself you should tell your parents that if they get a call from any unknown persons related to any card details, they should not provide the details because these particular calls are coming from criminals. Anybody knows where in India is the largest number of cyber crime taking place? Which is the state? Anybody knows? Which is the state in our country where the largest number of cyber crime are taking place? Let me see your job. Nobody knows. Have you heard about a state called as Jharkhand? In Jharkhand, there is a place called as Jamtara. Have you heard about Jamtara? No? Good. Better to know, not to know about this place. There is a place called as Jamtara. It's in Jharkhand. 51% of the cyber crimes which takes place in our country is from Jamtara. And on five occasions, I went to Jamtara to catch the cyber criminals. And let me tell you, when you go there, in every single house there is a hacker. And they have got a strong unity. If you catch hold of one person, the other person says, no, no, he did not know I did the crime. If you catch hold of the third person, no, no, not he, I did the crime. So on five occasions I went to Jamdara, I came empty handed. Because we don't know who to catch and who not to catch, because every single house there is a hacker. And you know that place has become a criminal place. And many of the guys over there have become criminals because they say we don't have jobs. And that's why we have become criminals. And even there, when they are being caught, they are so shameless that they don't mind going and sitting in the jail. Why I am telling you? Because there is a lot of unemployment issues also. And because of the unemployment issues, some of them are going towards the cyber crime matters. And they will give a call. So never ever adhere to such type of calls. And if your father or your mother gets a call as if it is coming from the bank to provide the debit card, credit card details, tell them not to give the details because this call is coming from a criminal who in turn will wipe out the total money from the account. Very important part, every single Indian should know. You know, we talk about Swachh Bharat Abhyan, have you heard? The roads and all should be properly cleaned. I was coming from Belgaum from the airport over here, maybe 45 50 kilometers, and I saw few of the patches were not clean. But that's the information what I can take forward. But let me tell you in today's context, we require Swachh Internet Abhyan. And when I talk about Swachh Internet Abhyan, it means that the internet should be clean. You should be knowing that when the criminals are attacking you, you should be in a position to understand that this is a criminal offense being orchestrated 
and you should be regulated. How you can prevent yourself? Number one, with all this what I shared, and what about antivirus? I am in. Yes. Will you able to tell me which antivirus can now? Anybody know the most antivirus name? NP, net protector. Net protector is one. Any more? Quick heal is number two. Any other more? There is net protector, there is quick heal, there is cementing, there is McAvey, there is Kaspersky. Many of them. But let me tell you, we Indians don't use antivirus. You know, when we get unwell, when you are few of them, I don't know, God forbid, nobody should be infected with COVID. But there were a few of our friends, families, who have been infected, who have been infected with COVID, viral infection. And during that time, they were given some antiviral medicines. Because without taking the medicines, they will not be cured. Similarly, your computer also requires a medicine to be installed before it starts. And that medicine is basically a software which is categorized as antivirus. Now, what five names I told you are the names of five different companies which make this antivirus. You know, during this COVID, everybody was going YOLO. Everybody was going Proxy. Everybody knew. Because these are the medicines by which your fever will come down, your cold will come down. Similarly, you should also know some of the antivirus names. Now, when I told you about these five antivirus names, you should have at least one, not at least one, only one, you should install it. In my research, when I do a lot of work, Kaspersky happens to be the best antivirus. Followed by McAfee, followed by Net Protector, followed by Quickly, so on and so forth. You should have one antivirus installed. Now, what is the advantage of having an antivirus installed? The moment you install an antivirus in your mobile phone or in your laptop or in your desktop, any type of an attack which takes place on your system shall be stopped. If people are sending you some objectionable messages on your laptop, desktop, mobile phones, they shall be stopped. So to protect your system from any unauthorized access or from any hacker to that matter, you should install your mobile phone or your desktop or your laptop with an antivirus. Must. And antivirus is not very costly. I have seen people spending 1 lakh, 1 lakh 40,000, 1 lakh 50,000 rupees for a mobile phone. And antivirus how much it costs? 400 rupees for one day. Approximately. So for a month, it just costs about 33 rupees per month. And once you install an antivirus in your mobile phone or in your laptop, let me tell you, the chances of becoming a victim of cybercrime is lessened by almost 95%. Prevention is better than cure. Point number two, when you are downloading any software from the internet, please don't use pirated copies. Anybody heard about the torrent? Using torrent is a crime in our country. Now let me open this. Three years jail and up to one crore rupees is the compensation. So if anybody wants to pay one crore rupees, then you can download any pirated software. Anybody wants to pay one crore? No using of torrent. And if you are using torrent, it is an offense. So first thing is antivirus. Second thing is no downloading of any software from sites called as torrent. Because when you download any software from torrent, that software is pirated. And if it is a pirated software, it means chori kya software. And I would not like myself to be called as a joke 
नॉर आई वुड लाइक टू डाउनलोड एनी सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम अ वेबसाइट जो चोरी किया हुआ इंस्ट्रूमेंट मस्ट विच यू शुड बी अवेयर नंबर थ्री If you have been gifted a mobile phone by any unknown person, please don't take it. Once again, I am coming back to the words. I went to Kerala about four or five years ago. Although the girls were little later to you, 18, 19 years old, maybe four or five years later to you. And when I went to Kerala, you know there were about 2,600 girls in the auditorium. It was only a girls' school. And I was talking to them about this mobile phones and all. If you take any mobile phone, which is a gifted mobile phone, unless or until it is gifted by your parents to you, never take any mobile phone from any unknown people. Because if you take a mobile phone from any unknown people, there are chances that this mobile phone will be installed with a spy software. You know, some of the girls after the session they came and told me. You know, I'm talking to you. I know that you are in the rural part, but an answer boyfriend girlfriend has become very common terms. And boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend doesn't mean that always when you take it in an extreme way, they could be friends also. No harm in that. But then there were some girls who came to me and said, "Sir, while we were delivering the session today, we came to know that the mobile phone which is there in our hand is given to me by my boyfriend. And my boyfriend used to know me where I am." He used to call me during the recess period and say, "Oh, you are there at so and so place." I used to say, "Yes." अच्छा आज आपने इस लड़के के साथ ऐसा चैट किया? काम किया. So they used to ask, "कैसे काम करा? नहीं, मुझे तो सब कुछ काम करता है." This girl used to think that their boyfriend is next to God, and they said that he is a superhuman being. What superhuman being it was? They gave the mobile phone. And in that mobile phone, they installed a spy software, and that spy software will tell about your complete information: where you are, with whom are you chatting, what are you chatting, what have you spoken, everything you will come. That's the reason I am telling this, and I am telling this repeatedly: that never, never take any mobile phone, a laptop, from any of the persons except your mother and father. Because that's the only relationship which is called as completely pure, humble, transparent, and sincere. No other relationship in this universe is humble, transparent, and sincere. So tomorrow, if it is gifted by your uncle, aunt, or by your cousin, don't take it. Even though that mobile phone or that laptop will be costing fifty, sixty thousand rupees. So I have seen instances where these mobile phones or these laptops have been installed with a spy. There are spy softwares which are available on the internet, and these spy softwares they take all the information about the person and give it to a third person, who in turn can see it. Where is that person at that present moment? Who is chatting whatsoever? So that's the other point in my agenda. That is, first is your antivirus. Second, don't download any pirated softwares. Number three, which I told very important. No gifts to be taken except from father and mother regarding your mobile phones, desktops, and laptops. No taking it from unknown people. Let it be your uncle, aunt, cousin, whoever it is. Stop taking it. Number four, how you should be prevented, and that is, I told you before, from now onwards, no photograph, your personal photograph, as your name. No putting your family personal photographs on any of the Facebook account, any of the Instagram account. You know the Americans are laughing at us. I had two Americans talking to me last week or days before, and literally he used the term "you Indians are fools" because you all don't know how to use the digital technology. And they told me that you have to come to US to address our people. So that we come to know, because what you all are telling the misuse, you all know the best, because the largest misuse is done in India, as compared to the West. And this is what we have here in the global world. So no putting your photos. Number five, in order that you should be protected, in order that the police tomorrow will not ask you any questions, no promoting any type of WhatsApp messages which 
relates to any religious matters. We are all one. Because we are all one, no promoting any message against any religions. Because our religion is only one humanity. And I can tell you about instances where people have lost rights because they promoted messages against the religion. I know about a guy, 20, 21 year old boy, he lost his life because when he came out of the ATM, there were some certain people who had a doubt on him that he posted a wrong profile, he posted a wrong information about the religious community. And he was brutally murdered. And when he was murdered, he, was, he happened to be from one of the district of Maharashtra called the Sholapur. I was then asked by the law enforcement to go to Sholapur to pacify his father. And I went to Sholapur to pacify his father. He said, what mistake my son did? Just cut down on the mind of certain people that he made the Facebook profile and promoted some religious disharmony. He was scared. But let me also tell you, his father was so brave that even though he lost his son, he said, okay, whatever happened is happened. I won't cry over that. But you give my story to everybody wherever you go that the children should never call any brain any type of a religious disbelief. Political disbelief. Please don't do that. Because WhatsApp I said to you is a fake university. Because it's a fake university, what you promote can become a burden on you. Point number six. No accepting any friend request from unknown people. If anybody adds you on your WhatsApp group, a person who you don't know, ask the question to that person, what is the objective of this group? Confirm, clarify and then be a part of it. Else, tomorrow if that group is promoting some wrong things, you also will be a part of it and you also will be questioned by it. Never do that. And last but not the least, very important for all of us, and that is the arms of the law enforcement agencies are very long. Today, police can investigate cyber crimes, and they can do it much, much better than investigating the traditional crimes which are not done using the technology. So, concern number one, I have Instagram about your that. Huh? 1980. 1980. Okay. That part I think is good. You have to remember in your mind. What are you going to tell your parents today? All what you are talking to me is in different, different languages I hear. So one of you can tell. Photos as your TV. 
along with your families. If any one of those particular DPs are found, your personal pick or your family's personal pick as the DP, it could lead into a trouble because that photo could be misused. So cut, copy, paste, all of these options are available. I did tell you in this session about one website when downloading the software from that website is wrong. Which is that website I was talking about? Torrent. Absolutely right. Torrent. Never, never download any software from Torrent because it is wrong. So a lot of people play games. But you know that when you play games on your mobile phone, what happens? When you play games, any of these games, because these games are something Greek and Latin for me, nor I get that time, nor I play games, because the moment you play games using your mobile phone or using your desktop or a laptop, your details from your particular mobile phone is gone to a third person. Stop playing games. One thing is okay, it will have an adverse effect on your health, on your mind. Most important, it will have an adverse effect as far as your mobile phone is concerned, your data will go to any third party. How many of them are knowing about through column? See, many of them. You should stop using through column. Because when you are using through column, you may not be aware that through column steals your data. You know, we Indians are very poor. Understanding. Let me tell you, I am also Indian. I feel very bad. But I tell this to the ministers, I tell this to the police officers, I tell to the judges, to everybody I tell them. That we are very poor in our mind. The reason is that because India is the largest user of Propaganda app. And when we have installed Propaganda app, I am sure that nobody read the terms and conditions. I accept. Everything I accept. And if you install through color in your mobile phone, the first thing is that it goes and attacks your phone directory. To whom you made a call. All of this information is stored in the server of through color. You know where is the server of through color? Your complete mobile phone's data is stored in the server of through color. You know that? To whom you are making a call? With what have you chatted? With what SMS you have sent? Your bank account details. Your OTPs, all are stored in the blue color server. Where is the server of blue color? Which part of the world? No answer. It is stored in a country which is called as Sweden. I don't know if the world part of country called as Sweden. So if at all I want to get information about him, I just have to know that using Pro Baller. And then directly talking to Pro Baller in Sweden, telling that this is person's data I want. So if he has chatted with some person, that data also will be made available. See how cyber hygienically we are so poor. You know, in a lighter way, I am telling you, Baba Ramde, all of you are knowing. Baba Ramdev says with pride, I will also second that option. Khana Swadeshi, Meena Swadeshi, Raina Swadeshi, some put Swadeshi. But when the server will be Swadeshi? Gmail server in US. Facebook server in US. Instagram server in US. True color server in Sweden. We are not Indians. We are all dependent on them. Our whole Jaram Kutli is in they will not be able to give the data back because India happens to be one of the countries in the world where we can't get the data back. So, you have to chat with you, 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 you have to chat with Take that blue collar and out, and if you don't do so, I don't want any of your teachers, any.
any of your principal to call me up and say that look, my student became a victim of cyber crime. And I will only say, sorry, I can't help you because as a school took the responsibility to sensitize you, to make you aware. Uske baad bhi, agar if you are not able to understand and not take positive steps, then it is up to you. Amen, mujhe maan. That's the only thing I would like to put in front of. Don't, don't download apps from the Play Store. Sab kuch apps download karne ka, sab games download karne ka. Why you are downloading games? Just to play. But while the games are downloaded on your mobile phones, your complete mobile access goes to that particular person who has developed that game software. Or uske baad aapki puri jankari us vekti ke paas. और वो व्यक्ति देखेगा कि आप क्या कर रहे हो किससे बात कर रहे हो किससे कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हो क्या आप सर्व करते हो कितने टाइम सर्व करते हो ये पूरी जानकारी उसके पास So if there are no questions, I take the liberty that we will conclude this session. And while concluding this session, we should take a oath that we require Swatch Internet Abhyan more than Swatch Bharat Abhyan. Because most of the time we are now within the four corners, less we are out. And in today's talk, to, more than time we are double as we are in the world. हो गया और ये हो गया बस और कुछ नहीं चाहिए सो स्वच्छ भारत अभियान से स्वच्छ इंटरनेट अभियान एंड यू मेक द इंटरनेट स्पेस मोर सिक्योर मोर क्लीन सच एज पीपल नॉट मिस यूज टेक्नोलॉजी एंड कमिंग साइबर क्राइम लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट जो भी कोई साइबर क्राइम करता है आपके पास एक नंबर मैंने दिया है वन नाइन थ्री जीरो और पुलिस पूरी कोशिश करेगी catch the cyber criminal. Jail without bail. That's the final concluding term what I want to tell you in first. Thank you very much. You have been very nice. You have been listening for the last one hour, twenty or minutes. Sir, please always say online shopping Good question to ask. I left purposely some questions to be asked by you. See, online shopping is safe. When? When you do it from legitimate sites, how do you know that a site is, you know, genuine site? जब आप कोई भी site पे जाते हो, जब आप online payment करते हो, जैसे कि Amazon हो, Flipkart हो, whatever it is, तो सबसे पहले आपको web browser में देखना है HTTPS, you know, before the name of the website, Amazon.in, तो उसके पहले browser में HTTPS होना चाहिए। और जब आप वो एच टी पी पे क्लिक करते हो माउस से तो यू गेट अपडाउन विंडो तो वहां पे आपको सर्टिफिकेट मिलेगी दिस कनेक्शन इज सिक्योर उसके बाद आप उस पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट पे ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन कर सकते हो अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट सेफ जब भी आप कोई भी ऐप को डाउनलोड करते हो तो ऑलवेज डाउनलोड इट फॉर द प्ले स्टोर और जब आप कोई भी ऐप प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड करते हो पहले उसके रिव्यूज पढ़िए रीड द रिव्यूज और मेजोरिटी ऑफ द रिव्यूज आर गुड देन यू 